Justin here with Chief Experts. And real quickly, I want to talk about what are templates in Chief Architect and why are they so important? Uh, you know, you hear the term templates a lot, but a lot of people get confused by that. So I just want to point out templates are nothing more than a plan or layout file that has the defaults adjusted the way you like them. All right, let's go take a look at that and see how that works. So when I go into a plan, all right, can be any plan that you want. And same with a layout sheet. You open up a layout page and you're going to have defaults in here as well. Layouts where we combine all our plans. So in this particular plan, what I can do is I can go into these default settings. Okay, so I click on the wrench and I get to the defaults and I can change anything on the in these defaults right now to whatever I want. Now, on the surface, it's really simple to do. On In reality, it's kind of complicated because it's one thing to change a bunch of defaults, but what do you want to change them to? So this is why this template's become really important now. So, so what I've done in my template, and I, I offer my template uh, in my classes, I offer my template in the Pro Academy and things like that. I've, I've got a lot of time into this, figuring this out. So I've gone through and over the years, I've you know worked with a lot of people and I've kept track of the different kinds of plans that we're always creating. Uh, in, in this is mostly to do with residential remodeling and residential home building. Okay, so these are the kinds of plans that I would draw for many of the clients that I'd work with. So and, you know, they'd be in quarter inch or eighth inch scale. Uh, they'd be the different types of plans, what kind of layer sets we'd use. I'd get into what kinds of things are on layers, different text size. But in reality, the thing that is the most important thing when it comes to uh, creating these plans is the text size. All right. So when we talk about text in, in our plans, this is kind of what we're after. We want all of our plans to look good. We want the right things to be showing and we want the right text size to be there. So, so that's what's taken a lot of time to adjust. And so when we get into this and we look at these different areas up here, so we've got our layer sets. Layer sets are what we see in the uh, on the screen. And again, on any screen, layers control what we see. Layer sets control groups of items that we see. Annotation sets are just that. How do you want to annotate your plan? You're going to put... Uh, uh, text for the electrical and it's going to be a quarter inch view you want your text to be a certain size you're going to put text for your cabinets you want the text to be on that layer and you want it to be a certain size probably even a certain color so you'll have a different size text in chief for a half inch view than you would for a quarter inch view so if i go through this now and i just take a look at this and, and uh, we kind of culminate all this stuff using our annotation sets so when we get into our annotation sets, so when I want to look at my electrical plan now, I'll switch to that and you'll see now we have electrical and you see just the things pertaining to electrical are working there. My annotations are set up properly so that when I add more items, when I add more text, more dimensions, uh, call outs, things like that, they'll be on the right layer. If I switch to my framing plan, you see I have things specific to framing and it's going to be on each floor. So the text is going to be a certain size. So when I switch to my NKBA set, my kitchen and bath plan, and here again, we're going to have different size text. So the text is actually going to end up a little smaller because on my plan, I want to print this at a half inch scale. So in order to keep the text the same size when we print out, it's got to be half inch scale. And it really, really works well. So there's a lot of elements that go into setting up a template. I use templates in all of my classes, the foundation of my classes and the foundation of the way I teach Chief Architect revolves around templates. So it's really important that you stay current so that you're always using the most current templates. So what I teach you in my classes is how to set up a template, how to adjust what I've taken, what I've made, and how to adjust it for your own needs. And it really, really makes a big difference. So when we look at this now and we go to our layout page, uh, Everything has come from one plan. We scroll through the different views on our layout pages. The text is gonna be the same size for everything. So here's our architectural plan. Here's the framing plan. Here is the uh, you know, cross sections. And then finally we get to our kitchen plan. So again, the text at a half inch scale here is going to print at the same size as the quarter inch scale back on my regular plan. So all of those different kinds of views are set up. So once it's set up, once you get most of this set up and, and what I've done is about 80% of everything that I've done here is set up and will work for just about everybody 
that's drawing plans for any residential buildings, okay? Light commercials can be a little different. It doesn't take much to make a change to this and set it up differently. So there you go. That's a little bit about what templates are. Again, I use them in all of my training. So if you really, really want to get up and running quickly with Chief, I invite you to uh, attend one of my classes or to you know, uh, check out my online training. I talk a lot about this in the Pro Academy. The template is available in the Pro Academy right now with a, a training series that you can watch. And who knows, you might be able to save yourself a ton of time using templates. Hey, Dan with Chief Expert signing off. Thanks.